Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Adam. Uh, this is a channel where we discuss all things long COVID. This video will serve as my two year update on my progress and also summarize some of the things that I've been using as of late um, to combat my long COVID. Um, I know it's been a while since we chatted. I've had a very busy three months. Um, we had a new addition to the family in December, so that'll be our third child now. Um, and as those of you who are parents know, that is a lot of work. So I've had trouble finding time to make these videos, edit them, um, and get them up on YouTube. I've also had a little bit of time trying to get to the gym, so I haven't been going as much. I'm trying to reduce inflammation, even good inflammation sometimes you got to reduce. So, um, as I said, I've also, we've had some sickness in the house too, since I got COVID in September, uh, from my little guy at daycare, he's been poor thing has been sick. I mean, every week or every other week. And obviously when that comes home, that circles the house, um, everybody gets it. So my body really hasn't had any time. My immune system has been constantly just being bombarded with illnesses. Um, last couple of weeks, things have been going a lot better. Um, it seems that, uh, he's moved rooms now. He's gone up in, you know, an age room. So that's helped a lot to, to keep the sickness at bay. Um, so feeling a little bit better now, but I've had a few symptoms um, reemerge, some new symptoms come on. Um, I have very cold feet, which is random, but the rest of my body's warm. I can't, uh, I can't seem to warm up my feet unless I have my heated socks on. Um, I've had blood work. I've been checked for diabetes, all sorts of different stuff, and everything again, as you guys know, comes back normal. Brain fog has returned a little bit. Um, a little bit of uh, head pressure and some muscle twitches, eye twitches, things like that. So just strange things. But as I said, the immune system has been under attack constantly for three months. So I'm really looking forward to moving past this, I guess. And it's also been super dark here for like a month and a half in Canada. Like there's been no sunlight. So I'm really looking forward to the spring when I can get some sun on my skin and start going outside again, doing my grounding walks. Uh, meditation outside in the grass and things like that. I think that'll for sure help. Now, uh, since it is winter time, I've been using a few different things that uh, I've been researching and I heard from others uh, on Reddit about that were helping them. Um, I'll start out with some grounding products just because it's so cold here and sometimes it doesn't, it's not realistic to go outside and ground yourself. I've been using my grounding mat, which I was using before. Um, I did get a new grounding pillowcase and uh, mat for the bed, so I've been using that as well. Been using it for about three days now. I think I see a difference for sure. So um, I also kind of ran out of time to continue to do my techniques and and things like meditation, grounding, breath work, um, aromatherapy, all sorts of that different stuff. So. I've been getting back to that. The new little one that was born in December is uh, about seven weeks old now, so she's doing a lot better. Um, not so much crying and things like that, so I've had a chance to get downstairs, do my meditation and breath work and things like that. So um, I've seen an uptick over the last week or so. So that's now why I'm making this video, and uh, you know I have the, a little bit of time to do so, and I wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on. Um, so as I said, I've been using grounding products. I've also, I got a weighted blanket from Hush um, for my wife for Christmas. And I didn't think much about it. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I'll like this, but I've been using it since Christmas. And I've definitely noticed a difference in some of my anxiety um, for sure that I was having. And it's, it's just, it's been a little bit, um, it's been helpful, I think, um, to reduce some of the symptoms that I've been having as well. So... If you guys don't know much about it, weighted blankets are um, used for some people who are experiencing anxiety. So as you guys know, with long COVID, anxiety is an issue or the um, sympathetic response, right? It's just turning that off. So anything that we can do to help that is going to show positive changes in your recovery. Uh, moving on from that, I also got this Apollo Neuro. So this is a... Actually, both the, the Apollo Neuro and the weighted blanket are, they call them like touch therapy, basically. So the weighted blanket, because it, it gives you weight on your body, again, so touch therapy. Um, this little guy is very basic. Um, it's kind of expensive. So in Canada, it's about $400, but I got it for Christmas with some gift cards. Um, and it was a bit of a gift from my mom. So it is 
a band that can attach to your wrist. It also can attach to your ankle. I wear it on my ankle. It kind of looks like a um, an ankle bracelet. Honestly, it looks, people have asked me if I'm on house arrest. Um, so maybe wear some jeans over top of it if you're at work. Um, but they have a really good app and I've been following them for about a year and a half now and I just never could pull the trigger because of the cost. But um, you attach it to your wrist and or your, and or your ankle and um, it, it comes with an app. So the app has all sorts of different um, modes that you use. So you put it on the bottom side of your wrist or inside of your ankle. Um, but there's energy, focus, social. Um, those are all kind of like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't use those very often because they kind of tend to excite the body, but they have unwind, calm, and sleep. And those are the ones I've been using the most often. You can actually set a schedule where it will... Um, activate on its own so you can kind of set it and forget it um, and I definitely noticed I've been using it a lot more over the last couple of weeks and I've noticed an improvement in my sleep and my heart rate variability um, honestly so um, yeah very simple no screens or anything like that it does have an airplane mode as well so that when you're not using it you can turn off the um, the signal to it if you're worried about uh, EMF um, so it comes in a little box like like this here, the Apollo Neuro, um, but you can get that online. So I've been trying that out and pairing that with my um, my Vegas Nerve Stimulator, so TVNS, um, and I've found some benefit from these as well. So any new things that I'm trialing, I wanted to bring on here and just show you guys. Um, as I said, I was 90% recovered before. I took a bit of a dip over the last three months, but things are getting back to normal, which is great. Um, so I've been using CBD oil as well. So in Canada here, we, these are sold by the government in Canada. So, um, each province has their own online store. So this is just a CBD oil 30, um, no THC. And I've been using that for calming myself down at night, getting out of the sympathetic response. Um, and it's definitely been helping. Uh, you can get this in flower form, oil form, capsule or gummies. So if you have that possibility in your area, go for it, check your local laws. Um, before doing so. Magnesium glycinate as well. I've been using this uh, for sleep, for calming down. Again, I take that at night with some of my other um, nightly uh, routines. I pair that with uh, a few different things as well. Um, supplements that we've talked about in the past. Um, and then I also got a new packet from Sage. So this is actually more of a mindfulness. So the first one you guys probably saw it in the last video, but we review for those of you who are new. So this is a pocket pharmacy by Sage. And it has been a lifesaver over the last couple of years, or even a year since I've had it, a year and a half. But uh, there's all sorts of different things in here. So you have pain release over here where my, my finger is on the left. Stress relief. We've talked about this one before. This one is awesome for pairing with meditation, grounding, things like that, calming yourself down when you're having panic attacks for no reason because of long COVID. Eater's Digest. I've been having a few issues, right area of the stomach, gallbladder, everything's been checked, but again, we, we know we have phantom symptoms from long COVID. Uh, immune, that's definitely been in use over the last three months now. I mean, with the constant sickness, it's great putting on um, your lymph nodes, put it down your neck, um, around your ears. Um, and also breathing it in when you have congestion and things is great. Um, we also have the peppermint halo, which was my, my top one, I guess, because I had so much head pressure, burning brain sensations, and it was like, it would actually like stimulate the skin and it was almost hot. So like an icy hot, right? So it would take the, um, the brain away from the pain and the pressure. So that's the one I used before. Um, this new one is a pocket pharmacy as well, but it's the mindfulness edition. So again, I've just started getting into this pack here. Um, they have different things like reflection and connection, confidence, unwind and energy. So all sorts of different things to try out here. These are great. I mean, nothing is endorsed by me on this channel that I make money off of. So these are just things that I bought, I tried and I think they work. So I think you guys could give them a look and they might be worth a, a shot as well um this one the energy one's great in the morning unwind is great at night to pair with the apollo neuro unwind um also reflection is great for uh, meditation it almost has like an earthy 
tone to it. There's frankincense in there and ginger. It's amazing. Uh, one of the best ones for doing your mindfulness practices. So I use Waking Up uh, as my mindfulness app now. I talked to you guys about that on Raylan's video a little bit, but it's awesome. Um, they have a beginner's course, <clears throat> which is a four-part series, which I was using Calm before, but I didn't really know a lot about meditation and mindfulness, the actual, like, the undertones of it and, you know, the history where it comes from, why you're doing it, um, what could happen to your body, um, and, and what the purpose really of was that I was doing mindfulness and, and meditation and grounding just to try and make myself feel better, but over the last six months or so, I've been, six months to a year, I've been learning more about mindfulness and why we should use it in our everyday lives. So those have been great. That that mindfulness edition, that's uh, sage.com. You can get that stuff. We've talked about this one before, DMSO liquid. This was from the OG video that I made um, uh, in December of last year. And I've been going back to this. I've been going back to my roots, I guess, of what helped me before. And this liquid goes on my wrist, and then I get in the sauna. So that came from a gentleman who wrote a book called What the Hell is Long COVID. If you haven't read that book, for sure check it out. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it for Kindle. Um, so I have been doing the sauna again as well. Uh, as I said, I haven't been getting to the gym as much. And I have a sauna at the gym. I don't have one at home, unfortunately. But uh, sometimes now I'll even go to the gym and um, they have a meditation pod. They have massage chairs. They have a cryo chair and, as I said, the sauna. So I've kind of changed pace a bit and been working out less, um, dieting more. So we talked about um, my diets a little bit over my last videos, but I'm on a fully ketogenic diet again, um, sub 20 net carbs, and I've found it's helping my brain fog a lot. So I ate a lot of carbs over the last year because I was trying to put on a lot of muscle and I was weight training five days a week and walking 10,000 steps a day, so I was fueling my workouts with that. But I, I don't know, I found, I've lost 90 pounds before on keto, uh, twice now, 2021 and 2019. So it just seems to work for my body. And um, as we know, ketogenic is a low inflammation diet and we wanna keep inflammation low, especially with neurological long COVID. So I've been on that since December 31st and I've lost about 18 pounds that's definitely helpful for inflammation for sure it's helping me feel better um, and it's just it's been great overall so far I coupled that with intermittent fasting and my prolonged fasts as you guys we've talked about before in a separate video so if you have questions about fasting I will link that video in the description as well so I want to conclude with just some lessons learned over the last two years I would say when I first made my one year video, I was kind of like on this, this, this high that I was, I was getting better. Um, and I was seeing constant progress monthly. The following year, since I've been making these videos, I, I say I've been about 80 to 90% recovered and it's very tough. It's great and amazing, but it's tough for me personally because I don't know how to get to a hundred yet. And, and we've talked about that before too, but trying to get from 85, 90% to back to normal where this goes away, I don't know. That's why I keep doing my research. I keep reading on Reddit, keep following other YouTubers who are discussing um, things and fully recovered. Um, so I just keep doing my stuff. And where I was seeing 5% increases over month over month before, I'm seeing either a dip or just a little bit of increase and it's almost negligible um, over the last year and definitely over the last three months, a bit of a dip. So I just wanna let you guys know who are recovering, just brace yourself. Um, you know, as you guys know, there's windows and waves, I call them, right? So we have windows and we have waves. The windows are when things are going well and you feel like you're doing better or you're having symptom um, symptom reduction or recovery and the waves are when things start to downturn and you feel worse and that happened over the first year you know every week where we would see all sorts of different things come about and um, you know just you didn't know what the day would bring so by all means I've had a great year um, but just brace yourself in case something does happen in, in my case external stressors that I couldn't control before COVID again in September, right? Like things were going great. Things were amazing. I did my Raylan interview. 
Um, but life got in the way a bit, I guess, and uh, the sickness was just nonstop, and then life gets in the way, I guess, or you have you have things that come up in life that, that are great but could be stressful. Um, so just just be prepared for those things, I guess. And don't do what I do, which was back away from all the stuff that you're doing. Don't stop doing your, your, your vagal nerve stimulation. Don't stop doing your meditation, grounding, breath work. Um, don't stop reading recovery stories, things like that, because that's what I pulled away from and, and things went downhill and not dramatically downhill, but enough to where I had to step back from a lot of things in life and reevaluate and come up with a path forward. So I've changed quite a few things over the last three months since we last talked. And I've just started seeing an increase in quality of life over the last week. So, you know, it's just important to keep doing what you're doing um, in terms of helping your recovery. And that's it, guys. So thank you for joining me today um, and being a part of my journey I I know we we've, we've done a lot of positive videos before. This is not a negative video, but it's a bit of an in-between video, I guess, and giving you an update of where I am. Um, as somebody who's still dealing with long COVID after two years now, I can say that things do get better. Please have hope. Um, just keep doing the things that you're doing and learning about online. Um, there is hope. There is recovery in your future. Uh, we're four years into this now, I think, for some people. So, you know, they're starting to come up with um, things and we're getting we're getting more treatment um, studies going on. They're looking at other drugs, devices, and things like this. Where When I started these videos a year ago, we were out in the dark on a lot of stuff. So there is hope, guys. And I just wanted to say I hope you're well. Stay safe. Um, Leave any comments or questions in the description if you want me to answer them or have any specific questions as to what I've done to help my recovery. Until next time, take care and stay strong.